right, we are here at my indoor worm bin, and it's only been five days since we were here last. This is just not damp, but you know, not too crinkly. Um, and I don't think I fed enough, so I'm just gonna check and see how we're doing here. The whole bin is 115 days old. Oh, right away, I see a, see a worm right there. Right there, little guy. So yeah, it's 115 days old and this is its 15th feeding if we feed it, which I think we will. So 515 and 15, that's kind of neat. Um, another one right there. So another, another thing I want to try and do better with, got some comments about maybe go a little bit slower so we can see in here. And I see a cocoon right here. Right. <laughs> of course, it's buried by everything now. But let me see if I can separate it a little bit. But that right there is a cocoon. And then a little mite right by it crawling on my hand. But that's pretty neat that I was able to find that right away. And I think I'm able to see more. That's good advice. I should go slower so I can see. Um, but yeah, actually I'm seeing springtails in here too. All kinds of good critters. I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I can get a zoom in on that when I edit the video to see if you all can see it too. But let's, let's kind of get our hand in here and see if there is any food. Oh my. Oh my. For this bin, this is, <laughs> this would be considered a worm ball because as you know, it started with 50 to 100 worms and that is that is about as close to a worm ball. Those are big guys too. Wow. Oh yeah, right in there. There's at least, oh shoot, there's probably 20. I was gonna say 10 to 15, but there is a lot of worms because I see little ones in here too. But that is fantastic. And yep, there's some of the food right there. So there is some food left. You know, and I wonder if the first couple days it's just kind of rotting and then they really attack it on day like four, five, six. And by the time I go on day seven, it's all gone. So by coming in here at day five, I may be coming in when they have their little feeding frenzy. But that was a little bit of food, but it's not a whole lot. Oh, wow. We probably have what we consider a population explosion in here because there are just a lot of worms, relatively speaking, in here compared to what I've ever seen before. Maybe it's because I'm going slower. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Look at that. Little ones, big ones. Oh, a cocoon right by my thumb. Right here by my finger now. There's a cocoon right there. Hopefully you can get that. Wow, something is definitely happening in here. This definitely makes me happy. This little bin's gonna give me some good castings for my garden. Good soil amendments, good organic fertilizer. Look at this, everywhere. I I don't know, you, you let me know what you think. Do you think maybe we've, I can stop saying it's 50 to 100? I mean, is it closer to 200 now? I don't know, 150? Not so much over here, but still some. This is this is really good. This is really good. This is what I was hoping for. Now this is probably some of the coffee. I'll kind of push that around a little bit. Uh, this is a pepper, it looks like. Some worms around it, so that's good to know. Oh yeah, there. And the moisture is perfect. Look at this. There's worms all over here. This is fantastic. Oh, I'm really proud of this bin. Really proud of this bin. Now the question is, is this just kind of a novelty bin or can it be useful? I mean, certainly it's it wouldn't be a big, in another cocoon right there and another one in here. We are definitely, yeah, they're, they're getting down and dirty in this bin. There's another one right there. You know, is, is this a, a useful, oh, two more cocoons. This, this bin is exploding with cocoons. 
But yeah, is this, I mean, certainly you wouldn't be getting a ton of castings out of this, but you know, if your goal was to, you know, compost your food scraps, then this could kind of be like a kitchen, maybe under the sink bin, because it's, it's certainly tiny enough. Um, but you know, this was given to me in a, a vermicomposting class from my local county extension office. So for me, it was just kind of a gimmicky little bin where I got it for free and can kind of do experiments. But I'm beginning to think for, you know, a small household, one or two people, you could easily um, compost your vegetable food scraps, fruit and vegetables in this. No brainer, just stick it in there. You know, maybe start with 300 to 500 worms instead of 50 to 100. But, you know, worms like that could pretty pretty well attack, you know, a, a small family's um, food scraps and, and get them some scraps for the garden, which, tell me what you think. What do you think? Has this been useful? Is it just a novelty bin or, you know, could it, could it really be used for something? I think I am going to feed them. That was uh, not that much extra food and they're certainly populating. So, you know, it takes energy and again, m more cocoons. I, I could be seeing same one or two over and over, but I think I think we have some good cocoons in here. So let's give them a bigger feeding. And I'm going to feed them as if this was seven days, um, but more than I typically do. So again, we're at the five day point. Here's some carrots. I know that they'll go through the strawberries quick, the apple. Uh, I think the carrot scraps they'll go through pretty quick. I've got some um, soft carrots just from being in the refrigerator way too long. So we'll put those in there too. And then some chopped celery that just kind of got left out. But yeah, we'll, we'll, what do you think? Let's, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put a banana peel in there, the whole peel without having it cut up. But this is, this is a sizable feeding. I bet you when I check in on seven days, I'm still gonna see some stuff, but I cannot resist feeding them more. This is, I love this, but, but yeah, while I do this, I'll get the coffee in next. And if you enjoy this video, uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And on my channel, I've got three playlists, one for each bin. And from there you can check out the videos from start to finish castings. And if you ring the bell, then you'll get notified when I have a new video up. Let's put the pulverized eggshells. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> I didn't mean to quite put that much. But either way, they'll, they'll use it for their digestion. So we'll just cover this up here. But yeah, let me know in the comments, you know, is, is this a useful bin? And this is just a Rubbermaid bin. You know, you look at it. It's called a Roughneck Rubbermaid bin. It is tiny. Again, you see that. Um... But I think, I think for someone that doesn't want to have a huge bin, uh, but at the same time they want to have some castings from composting worms, I think this could be a good little bin. Just want to make sure you start it with enough worms and you learn from some of these channels that can teach you how to start a bin. Certainly mine can too, but I think this is a good little bin, so... I think that'll about do it. I think I remembered everything. So I hope everybody have, is having a great day and happy vermicomposting, everybody. Take care.